बाइट Okay, look straight now. Yeah. So the first thing is your chin is on the right side. Okay, number one. Number two, the projection of the chin is not nice. You don't have a nice length of the ear fold. So we do that. The next major thing is this. So you've got a lot of asymmetry. This side has come down and this side has gone up. This side is sticking out, this side is sticking down. Okay. So if you turn around, so here there's a huge swelling. And there's also a little bit issue with the cheek on the upper jaw on this side. Yeah, yeah. So I have to do that. I have to do the work on the muscle, the bone here, here, mm -hmm. everywhere, right? So it's going to be like a little major surgery. We will take about three or four hours. You understand English, right? Yeah. So it will take about three or four hours. There will be no scar. Mm -hmm. uh, the combination of uh, facial asymmetry correction, genioplasty, jaw sculpting. And also work on the mesenchymal muscle, angle osteoporosis, multiple things basically. But at the end of it, 95% to 100% will have symmetrical face. Yeah. Okay. Not less than that. But may not be 100% always. About 95% because it's a quite a complex deformity. It's not just one side more and all. You know, one side midline, other side swelling. One side has come down, other side has gone up. It's a very complex deformity. I've explained all the details to him already in my earlier conversation. I'm just telling all this so you know again and then you know we're going through it much more. Next is healing. Seven days here it's better. So I do everything and then send you. And if you take another two weeks at least for the healing, maybe one month is safer till he feels kind of, you know, okay, I'm almost all right kind of a thing. <clears throat> right? Well, okay. Because you see this notching I told you. That is on the right side. See this is the face, right side. Okay, okay. And you see the bend like this, like yeah. the elbow. So this is because of what happens is we have a masseter muscle. Mm -hmm. Clench. Yeah. You feel the muscle? Clench, yeah. you feel the muscle? Yeah, yeah. So this is the masseter muscle on the side. You are having problem with the muscle also. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are going to do some work on the muscle. Bone plus muscle. And this side only bone. Because the muscle is okay, but the muscle is working over time. Does he chew his, um, like in the night, he does some no, chewing, nothing. nothing like that. Years before? No. Any, any injury? Small, small also, there was no like this. Now, as he's yeah, 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 correct. Seven standard, Surely it's not there before he's like, seven standard, little bit it's work on. Any okay. eye, short or some room or any no. fall, injury, could be something like that before your scan. Because it's like literally got twisted, like. It's come out more here, it's gone up there, muscle is swelling up here, mm -hmm. and this has gone to one side. A couple of multiple things happening in the same bone. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so <clears throat> apart from what I said yesterday, all that we'll do, plus we'll remove this bone. Okay, this one. Otherwise, you'll not get the symmetry. See, finally, you have to get this length, same as this length. Yeah. But this proportion has to be same. Midline has to come. And this side, you've got some swelling which is involving your masseter muscle. Mm -hmm. And also buccal pad fat. Okay. So left side we're gonna remove the masseter muscle, buccal pad fat, right side that we call it antigonial notch, we're gonna take that off, then genioplasty, and it has to come forward your chin. Okay. Not just correct the asymmetry, it has to come forward. It's not yeah. it's not prominent. You have to bring your chin forward by five, six, seven millimeters. Yeah. So you bring your chin forward. Then not only just bring it forward, bring it asymmetrically forward. Mm -hmm. To left side will come out more, right side will come out less. So we have a symmetry. But the chin will be forward. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's the rough plan. Doctor, will we do something on this side for, for muscle? Because this, no, this part looks strong. So, so it looks un unhealthy avoid like it. That looks good. Yes. This side, also see, if you take this off, yeah. you'll have a nice contour. Okay. This angle should be 110. Mm -hmm. Now because this bone, you see my bone is not normal. Yeah, yeah. If it comes down here, the angle becomes less and makes the face look squarish. Okay. So will my face be super slim after the surgery? Sir? Because no, it won't be super slim enough. If you match this part, I think it will be super slim. Because this part is <coughs> white. But that will look better for your face. If I make it fat, it will not look good. Every, you check every model, every person who is beautiful, whom they consider, 
This is the intermalar distance. This is the intergonial distance. This has to be at least 7-8 millimeters less than this. For you right now, this is more. Okay. And this is correct straight line. Yeah. But this is like this. So we have to correct that line also. You know what I mean to say? So this point is here. I will bring it down. I will take it inside. Okay, okay doctor. About my white doctor, will that Nothing be, I will touch. No, no, will that be corrected only with braces or do we have to do some No surgery, surgery for your bite. Right. Not, you don't need any surgery for your bite. Fine. Clearly analyzed, don't do anything for your bite. Just the braces. If you need, if not, just leave it. I will correct everything in such a way that when you put braces, it looks better just to align the teeth. Nothing else will leave. Yeah. Okay, that's the plan now. <clears throat> so, let me repeat once more. About 6-7 millimeters of the chin will come forward also. That is not to correct your asymmetry, that is to give you a more pleasing, more balanced face. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then we are going to get a little bit more contouring. Now it's straight. I'll give you a more deeper mental labial fold that looks nice for men. Mm -hmm. And not a pointy chin, broad chin. And correct the midline. This is for the chin. Right side, I won't do the muscle. I won't do the fat. Only the bone that is protruded. This will go away. No, so one more thing, on the Sorry. right side. Uh, uh, can you please shift the handle? This is the right side. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, just shift the handle. Yeah. What we see is, doctor, this bone looks quite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, it, it looks big, and this part has gone in. Yeah. No, it is similar to that. If you take other views, it is similar. Both sides, that part, there is no asymmetry. Yeah. This much is correct. I mean, I mean, this distance, doctor, looks more. Yeah, because if you turn it, it will be fine. That distance I can show you on another view. So now, let's see, this is a cut. Now, this is the mala bone and the sinus. And this is the point and this is the point. It's almost same, I'll show you. Almost in 2 millimeters of that. So for 2 millimeters, we don't have to operate there now, I mean. Because yeah. you already have some major issues that we're tackling. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to bother about that 2 millimeters. It's not going to be visible. Okay. See, why are we doing this? We are doing this because uh, someone when they look from distance should think your face is appealing and not having a deformity. Mm -hmm. Now, because of this uh, swelling here, swelling there, that's the thing, right? So every 2 millimeter, we should not try and because it involves extra surgery, extra time, extra healing, extra money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doctor, doctor, does this part look a little bit sharp? Like, if I if I smile, doctor, I smile, I get a big pimple. That's good. Yeah, but here yeah, there's a small thing. So this is because the muscle is hypertrophic there. We call it mesenteric hypertrophy. Got hypertrophic muscle there. Mm, does this show you? Does, does this look hollow, doctor? This part? No, it looks good. And I'll show you some of your pictures, doctor. If you want that part to become fuller, a little bit fuller. the best thing is some fillers or not surgical like this. Okay. Because that's the that's the area people like to be hollow. I think it's extremely hollow. Uh, it's 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 nice to have it. Okay, okay. can it be corrected through filler if I want it? You can do filler later on. Of fact, that's a minor procedure. We don't want to combine that kind of small small things when we're doing major things now. See, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to restore, it's like the foundation. Mm -hmm. We'll restore all the bony things wherever it is. And I can assure you 95% or above. Yeah. Okay, some people get 180, 98. But perfection, as much as possible we will achieve. But little bit things could remain, you know, because there's a little complex deformity. Now having said that, so then we can go and put in some fillers and stuff like that if you feel like six months later. Yeah, no. will, I, will, I, will I have a jawline here after? Yes. You? Of course. Yeah, because because I have a really bad jawline here. Like you can't. Yeah, you'll have a better jawline even on this side. After you operate. Yes. yes. Fine. If you look there, I'll show you. Look that side. Yeah. So you see, this is putting coming down here. Yeah. That's why I said that angle we will increase. Mm -hmm. And this chin will come forward. Yeah. When the chin comes there, you get a much better jawline.
swelling a bulge on the left angle little bit in the malar bone and this side has gone in so we're going to correct this twisted deformity now with the help of asymmetric chinoplasty jaw sculpting some muscle work buckle pack fat and malar work cheek contouring on the left side So we're going to start a facial asymmetric correction case. I'm going to show you the defect, or the deformity rather. You see here a huge swelling on this side. This is both the wrong position of the mandible, a severe antigonial notching, which is like a bone you can see here, plus masseteric hypertrophy, plus a little bit of excess on the malar bone. So the plan is obviously to take care of the bone, take care of the muscle, buckle pad fat, and the cheek there, the malar bone. All of that's going to be done at that side. I'm going to take it really in and get it flush. Then we're going to work on the chin, which is asymmetric now. If you look at it like this, it's more towards its right side. So we're going to get the chin back in the midline. I'm going to give him a nice mental labial fold. You're going to get the chin outside. I think about six, seven millimeters is gonna look good for him. And little work here as well, because he has a very sharp and uh, angle that's much lower down. This ideally should be there. So we're gonna contour some of the bone there as well and do some jaw sculpting. So that's the plan. Everything is gonna be done from inside the mouth. This is just for me to get the idea as to what needs to be done and also make some marking. So I've exposed another mandible. That's the chin that you see, it's a little bit asymmetric. We're gonna slide it up forward in an asymmetric fashion. But we're not doing that just now. What I'm first doing for this patient is an osteotomy here. You can see I've made the cuts. There's a lot of excess there. So it's gonna be moved out. That's the sliding there, okay. And then I've also exposed all the way to the ramus on this end. We're going to be doing some work at the antigonial notch to get the patient a much more V-shape, correct the symmetry, jaw sculpting and some genioplasty. Major asymmetries, major deformities need major procedures. We're dealing in millimeters, we're dealing in centimeters here. So we can't just be shaving off these bones. We have to make a more aggressive plan. And that's what we're doing here. So you can see the impact of tooth also. I'm gonna take care of that now. We're doing an asymmetric sliding advancement genioplasty. That's the midline of the face. The midline on the lower jaw is not matching. This is the lower midline now that you see, but this is the actual facial midline. The six millimeters there. So my osteotomy design is such that I've made it from here to there. This distance being the same. Once I make the cut and take the, this part of the chin forward, I'm going to leave a gap there more, like five millimeters more there and less here, which means I'm going to get the chin back to the midline. So that's the plan. So it's a little asymmetrical marking. I hope you can appreciate that. So there are different types of marking for genioplasty. The mental nerve is all intact. Again, nice and free. I've done a lot of work here. You can see that jaw sculpting, angle osteoplasty. This side, we've removed the antigonial notching a little bit of muscle to remove a lot of stuff, but then we're finishing with this now, asymmetric 
sliding advancement genioplasty. So I'm just doing jaw sculpting now. We're taking off the excess bone that's there on the angle of the patient's jaw. I'm also doing this to make sure he has a little bit more symmetry. Remember that he has severe facial asymmetry. But I use this opportunity to not only get the symmetry to solve, but we also make sure he has a good proportion now. So this is part of the plan to make sure he has a much improved asymmetry in proportion. And uh, we've also done an asymmetric sliding advancement geoplasty. I've done a lot of work on this side, including the muscle and the bone. And this is the final stuff I'm doing now. Can I have a closer look? Kind of contoured. What? Okay, we've just finished with the genioplasty. You can see the segment. And it's so asymmetric. Sliding advancement genioplasty. We've done multiple things for this patient. We've solved the problem of facial asymmetry. We've improved his facial proportions. And now I'm just closing up. Follow up on the We've just done another surgery here. A lot of changes. We've moved the chin, rotated it more towards the left side. And we've done a lot of work here. Body, angle, all the way up to the malar bones. Taken that side in. Work on the masseter muscle. Work on the bony mandible. I've also done a little work here because he had this part gone in too much. We've got it out a little bit. It was chin angle to match with the other side that we've now achieved so that he not only has symmetry also looks way better. <laughs>